Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Camille and today we're doing another speed build uh, that is made for the rent expansion pack that is coming out in December. My last video I did a rundown apartment building for the rent expansion pack and today I wanted to go with more of a really clean and modern build. So this time we're doing townhouses, which I'm really excited about. I don't think I ever did townhouses before and I found the concept pretty nice if it actually works with the new expansion pack coming out. So as you can see, I built three townhouses. They're each two story high and on a 30 by 20 lots. Each house comes with a backyard and a balcony or two balconies. Uh, I used a lot of expansion packs for this build, but I didn't use a lot of stuff packs or other small packs. I especially used uh, my one of my favorite one for building, which is the eco lifestyle one, which I really like, ex especially for the exteriors. Uh, and you will see, especially for the bars that I used on the balconies, which I really like. They kind of look like something is closed off but it actually isn't like light still passes through it so it's it looks nice i really like those i think they're also on the get together expansion pack i don't remember again i cannot wait for the for rent uh, expansion pack i'm really gonna love it and i think i'm gonna be really annoying when it comes out and start building even more apartments and buildings and houses or townhouses only with this pack because I feel like I feel like it should be really fun. The new theme that comes with it, I think it's South Asia, which is pretty nice. We didn't have we don't have that in The Sims 4. We do have uh, East Asia, so mostly Japanese inspired, and the rest is kind of like mostly american uh, inspired or like big cities mostly uh, american inspired there's some of german there's a, a little bit of germany inspiration uh with windenburg there's also the my wedding stories which are based off south of france or italy i think um but i feel like we are missing a lot of regions all over the world which will be really interesting like for example, San Sequoia really looks like San Francisco or something. It's pretty American and I get it, but still, I feel like there could be a lot more regions and a lot more cultures. For example, with the Snow Escape pack, we had a lot more uh, culture specific items. For example, the um, dining room or mats on the floor. There was the hot pot thing. Um, there was the kind of temple thing like with the shrines. For example, with the South Asian stuff, I think there's a rice, uh, a rice cooker, which is pretty nice. I I think it gives more gameplay, and I didn't quite see a lot of culture specific thing, but I didn't watch it. I didn't watch the trailers in depth, so I think I missed a lot. But I'm gonna explore once I get it, and I feel like it's gonna be really nice. I'm really excited, honestly and i'm kind of mad because it's gonna come out and i won't have a lot of time to play with it since it's gonna be winter break like right after like two weeks after uh, and i will be coming home so i won't have my pc with me but that doesn't mean that i won't post uh, i just need to film <laughs> uh, before going on my winter break and I feel like I will edit in the bus or something if I don't fall asleep while coming home. So for this build, uh, as you can see, it's pretty sleek, pretty minimalistic, pretty clean. I really wanted something modern compared to my last build. Well, my last build was pretty modern, but it was really run down, which wasn't my plan at first. At first, I really wanted something sleek like this, for example, with colors. I had red and blue, etc. I changed my mind while building it i was like no i want it so run down and this one i really wanted to keep that sleek really clean and modern look so i was really inspired by some japanese houses like not the traditional one but the modern one that i've seen on pinterest they're really like they're really simple and really like 
they have like simple shapes so it's pretty easy um what i usually do now so i don't get like distracted while i uh, build i usually make a plan of what i want to build uh, on my tablet i just draw something make the rooms like get the layout figured out before i even build otherwise <laughs> otherwise i spend like one or two hours deciding what i want to do and and when i edit i'm like Oh my god, there's like 30 minutes where I'm doing nothing because I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this work. So now I just prepare a layout and then yes, I can like kind of deviate from it and kind of make things different. But I still keep the same base that I prepared. For example, on the back side of the houses, each one has like a veranda style kitchen. So the kitchen, you can overlook into the backyard, which I feel like is pretty nice. And I really like those windows. I also st wanted to do it all like dark brown, dark woods, but I actually changed my mind while I was building. I didn't want it to look too similar on the inside because at first I wanted to do the outside like different wood colors. And then I was like, no, it doesn't look like uniform. It doesn't look good. So I decided to make it all look the same. But then on the inside, at first I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Like, I'm just gonna use the same wood and same tiles for every townhouse. But I felt like it didn't go with each style because I didn't want to do the same interior for each one and just change up little things. I, I wanted really different styles. Maybe the layout looks similar, but I feel like the styles are pretty different, especially the colors, uh, color themes and how light the wood is so for example the first townhouse on the left is like really dark and then the middle one is really light and really like um pastel looking <laughs> like the interior is really pastel blue a little bit of pink like really soft and toned down and the last one i uh, didn't want to do a family oriented house because the first two ones have like kind of a family vibe, especially the first one, which has toys everywhere in the living room. The last one, I wanted to make it like a, maybe a couple or a single person, which has like a gaming setup or maybe an office, like a private office. So the be the last one, the last townhouse, the uh, interior is pretty modern. I gave each house a backyard because I didn't want it to be like townhouses without a garden or like, I don't I didn't want it to be all sim cement I wanted some greenery somewhere so I added in the front and I added some in the back uh, in the back I added some garden pots you can always change that to a mini pool for example the I would maybe see the last townhouse like the modern one bedroom one to have like a pool instead of a garden I was also kind of like on the backyard stuff and how close it is and how s not small but like those are pretty big townhouses not gonna lie like before uni in my country there's a lot of townhouses even more in the city center and i hate them honestly i don't like them at all like to live in because it's so annoying like you hear if the walls are not m good you're gonna hear everything in the other house they're also pretty small and there's always the thing where you you kind of your garden is really close to the garden of your neighbor which is ugh, i don't know i don't like it and it's pretty small most of the time i used to live in one uh in a townhouse and it was like two houses we just had a small garden compared to like an independent house it was pretty small but it was still okay but the interior was much smaller i guess than an individual house but it was fine as a kid i didn't really <laughs> care but i would not want to live in a townhouse i don't like apartments too like i like the idea of an apartment especially in the sims like it looks good it's really cute and cozy and small but to live in i don't know i don't know currently i'm living in the studio but i like it because i'm like one person and i try to go out a lot too because i don't want to get stuck into like the routine of just staying in my studio by myself. I, I try to go out, go to cafes. The last couple days, I actually went to the cafe twice and it was pretty nice. I went the first time to study and the second time was yesterday. 
I went to just read and text people and I got hot chocolate. I, I usually don't like hot chocolate and I wanted to try it out because a friend was like, oh, you, like, you sure you should try it out again? And I actually tried it out. It was fine. And it was actually really good because it, it wasn't like the cocoa, the cocoa powder, like just the cocoa powder. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. It has no taste. Um, it was actually like whole pieces of chocolate being melted in my milk which was really nice and i got some cake too because why not i also added like for the gardening i don't know why i like gardening so much in the sims but i added some like vertical pots that are attached to the walls for each um townhouse i don't know why i like it so much like i like to garden myself but i don't know i at last build I did put gardening pots in like uh, the community area kind of love gardening this time like I arrived to uni and I was like I, I need to get some plants because uh, I'm used to my mom having a lot of plants like the whole living room kitchen dining room has plants everywhere so I was like I need to have some plants and her favorite is aloe vera and it's one of my favorites too like it does everything like hair skin treats mosquito bites treats it treats everything like burns even so like best plants ever but I didn't want to I didn't know where to buy stuff like it's not actually that I didn't want to but I was scared like oh where do I buy st like plants or like seeds for the plants or how do I buy soil? Where do I buy this? And I was scared also of, being, of it being expensive. But I'm actually so happy because my uni had like a day where you can get like free plants. So I went and I got aloe vera and I'm so happy and I got rosemary. It's actually so nice. I got a lot of plants, but I did get cactus and it was funny because I actually like had pla um, cactus like um, spikes everywhere on my hands because i fell down like my the i had too much plants in my hands so a lot of it fell down when i was picking up other stuff and the cactus fell on all over my hand and arms and it wasn't painful but like every time i would rub my hands or touch something i will feel it and since it's a small cactus like the spikes are really small, like you cannot see them actually, you have to really squint. It doesn't hurt but it's so annoying because every time you rub your hands you feel it and you're like ugh. But the, when I came home I actually took them one by one out. But there was still a lot that was stuck in because they're too small for me to get out. So I just had to wait like a couple days, showers after showers for them to like fall out I guess. And now I'm okay. But I, do, I don't even know why I took cactus. I, I don't even really like it. I like soft plants. I don't really like cactus. For the first house, I did a, a toddler slash infant room. I think you can switch it up as, as much as you want. Like you can do toddler or infant or even do a, a child if he grows up. Uh, I went for more of a country, like kind of retro vibe a lot of woods woods i also went with like uh, another two other bedrooms for maybe teens and the parents of course um and the middle one i went for more of a really scandinavian style like really soft uh woody of course but really light and pastels and really yeah, soft um upstairs there's two ma two uh bedrooms for like teens or adults uh one i kind of feel like it's a guest bedroom because it doesn't have a lot of stuff um i felt like it was more of a guest bedroom and there's like a children room with a bunk bed which is really cute and the last one i went with um a pretty modern style i think i used the get famous pack for the last one a lot uh, so I went with a really big bedroom, which has doors going to both balconies. And I went with uh, an office and for downstairs, uh, I went with the living room, uh, the same as others. Uh, and the kitchen, the same as others, but I went for more of a modern. It's more black and white too. There's a lot of hoods, but the rest of the furniture is pretty black and white, 
what you like i don't mind it um i think that's it for this build i'm gonna let you enjoy it enjoy the rest don't forget to like subscribe and see you next time for another build mostly gonna be maybe another townhouse or apartment no um, i think i'm gonna do a house like a normal one <laughs> maybe
Thank you.